David, you had one of your biggest hits with Clive's artist, Whitney Houston. Obviously, I Will Always Love You is the love song of the century, even now. Talk to me about that experience in working with Whitney and Clive on that song. You know, it was just kind of like a hurricane, the storm, like all, everything came together at that moment, you know, with Kevin picking Whitney in the first place and Clive being involved and catching me at a good time in my life. And I always say about the Bodyguard album that I don't think that necessarily that was her best album because she did so many great albums it would be hard to pick. But I think I got her. You're always so polite. No, but I. I, I That's thanks. her best album. Well, for no, sure. but I got I got her I'm when biased, she was. But. I got her when she was peaking for sure. Mm -hmm. You know, when she was at her best. What does Clive mean to you? This is his 90th birthday celebration. What has he meant to you through the years? I think he's just a great beacon of light for the music business. You know, he's just a, a pillar in the industry. Obviously, he's a titan, one of the last remaining ones. I mean, maybe there'll be more. Uh, in the years to come that'll grow to be Clive's. But I don't know, I think he's unique. What do you think, B? Well, I'm a retired recording artist, but <laughs> I will say that he was, them, right? <laughs> yeah, he was my first record deal that I ever, I mean, the first time I sat in an office with a bunch of record executives and he stared across me, across the table and asked me what, and what I, did he say? He says, do you think you can sing this song? And I mean, he was always just so uh, lovely to be around and uh, made, made artists, made me feel comfortable um, and, uh, it's kind of how we met too at the same time when I met Clive. So at American Idol, yeah. There's yeah. just honestly no one like him. You're going to hear this all night on the carpet. Mm -hmm. You've heard it probably your whole life. There's no one like him, and um, we 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 need to cherish every year that he's on the planet. You know, he's probably going to make it to 100 or more. I mean, I don't want to be working his 100th birthday, but I'm happy to be working his 90th. <laughs> well, what can you tell me about tonight? Clive is always tight-lipped about his parties, so we don't know a lot. But what do you know? Do you know anything, or what are you expecting? I know everything. Well, you're, can we tell them that you're hosting the night? Yeah, I'm, I'm hosting my, the second half of the that's night. That's why I got so. all dressed up. I mean, yeah, I know beautiful. we're here for Clive's birthday, but I wanted to represent you, yeah, too. Yeah, and you sure did. <laughs> How do you prepare to host a Clive Davis party? Well, you, you follow the script. <laughs> yeah, you can't. I mean, I'm pretty good on my feet, but I think I'm not going to wing much tonight because there's a lot of business to be done, so I'm going to be a good traffic cop, I hope. Last question. What are your Mother's Day plans this year? Oh, I didn't even think about it. About it's my it. first Mother's Day. Yeah. Oh, my God. <laughs> you know what? Wait, when is it, by the way? Oh, my God. A couple weeks? Uh, May? Uh, is it? Oh, it's May. Yeah, it's either late April or I oh, think it's in honestly, May. Though. just, you know, it's probably on a Sunday because Mother's Day is always on Sundays. Yeah. And just those are what usually. We do. We'll take, we our, we'll take Rennie. Rennie out to, so much fun. to lunch and dinner. We love just hanging out yeah. with him. Thank you for watching. If you want more extra, hit the subscribe button and the bell so you'll never miss a video.